Hey, good morning everybody and welcome back to the channel. Looks like we're going to see some blue sky today and it's been a while. And interesting this morning, early this morning, before the sun would even be up above like right there, uh, you know, the sky was light, very dark and cloudy. But it was before the sun would have even been up and even able to touch any of these solar panels that I have out here. And I thought, well, let me just see what kind of solar I get. And I made a short video about it because I went up to the shop back up in there and looked. And I was getting about, uh, I saw about 140 watts at one time. And if it had been a crystal clear blue sky, the sun wasn't high enough to even be producing any uh, power on the solar panels but because of the reflection that I was getting which looked something like that although the sun's up there now the sun's up there about right there so you know I'm getting pretty good light catching pretty good charge actually but what, what amazed me was before the sun would have even been visible there was enough light in the sky to be producing, you know, that 140 watts off this uh, array that I showed you guys the other day. But that's not what I wanted to talk to you guys to today about. So I'm going to walk in to the house and show you kind of my... Uh, dilemma that I think you'll be able to help me with. So I've got an upcoming video where I need a 48 volt battery. And this one right here is currently the only 48 volt battery that I have. And it's tied into this system and it's working so good. I hate to uh, tear that apart. I will if I have to in order to do this upcoming uh, review and test. But that means I have to take all of this apart and get this up to the shop um, down here in the house now. <clears throat> and the system is working so perfect. It's just amazing sitting there 94% full, running a 20 cubic foot refrigerator for month after month after month. Uh, and I just don't even have to think about this system. So, but that's the only 48 volt battery I've got. But, I've been thinking. And me thinking, uh, is it a harebrained idea or not? So I'm going to toss it out to you guys and get some feedback and see. <laughs> well, it's not really a dilemma more than a question, but I do need a 48 volt battery. And I have one 48 volt battery tied up on a system right now. But I do need to have a 48 volt battery for an upcoming test. So, posing the question, what if I tied these in series to make one 48 volt battery? I mean, here I've got a couple. Uh, these are identical, tied in parallel. And I've seen lots of people tying in uh, mismatched parallel systems. You know, they add another brand on the end of this and another brand, and they're doing okay with that. And looking around, I'm not seeing anybody mis mismatch basically the same specifications per battery, but, but obviously different. You know, we've got a, a Mini here. A smart one here, a couple of different kinds here. They all have, are 100 amp hour. They all have the same charging and discharging specs. But I'm not seeing anybody tie these in series to make a 48 volt battery. What do you think? Can I get away with that? I mean, that would be a 48 volt battery. Never done that. If anyone's done that, let me know. 
or if it's a big no-no. Of course, uh, the manufacturers are probably cringing the fact that I would mismatch. They never want you to mismatch even in parallel anything that they've got going unless they're identical like that. But here I've got four 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate batteries. Yeah, that would make a 48 volt battery. And that would work good for my test. And of course that would be a test all in and of itself. But for my next uh, soon to be released video, I need a 48 volt system. And I don't want to tear apart my my 48 volt system if I can avoid that. So I'm going to let you guys chime in on this. Yes, maybe, hard no. <laughs> hard yes in theory I don't see what the problem would be one of the questions I have is since these all have a BMS in them I mean when you start tying up uh, batteries even in parallel like over there got those in parallel they, they're working just fine they're the same those have pouch cells none of these have pouch cells uh, by the way, but uh, those do. They're working just fine. Yeah. So I don't really know if when you start tying batteries, identical batteries even, uh, together in parallel, if how all the BMSs communicate with each other or if one becomes dominant in the battery bank. That I don't quite understand. And then, of course, if I were to mix four different kind. Now, I've seen people doing this type of a thing in parallel with no issues. Everything's charging up fine, and, and we've watched them uh, report back to us. I've looked high and low. I've not seen anyone that's tried putting this in series to make a 48-volt system. And again, my question would be is like, you know, does one of these BMSs become a dominant factor or not? Um, and assuming that they might be four different BMSs, four different brands, we know they're four different uh, styles of batteries. They're all the same voltage. Every one of these are the same voltage and same capacity. But yeah, lots of questions. Uh, yeah, yes, maybe, <laughs> hard no. What do you guys think? That would sure be nice if I could do that. Turn that into one 100 amp hour 48 volt battery. That would be good. If I had four identicals, I wouldn't even hesitate. But I've got a little hesitation on, on doing this. Even though, what? It should be okay, right? Be okay to do them in parallel. Seen that. Yeah, let me know what you guys think about that. I'm really kind of curious about giving that a try. And I know some of you will uh, tell me whether you've done it or not. Anyway, beautiful day again here today. Best of both worlds. Little bit of a drying day, which is kind of nice. It had been kind of wet for a while, but drying up pretty nice. Can't actually see the sun, but all systems up to pretty much a full charge today. All right, you guys, aloha. Yeah, I wanna make a 48 volt battery.